Well, hello everybody and welcome to another Redline vlog style review. In today's video, Genesis is really showing us that they are out for some German blood because right beside me is the completely redesigned 2021 Genesis G80 midsize sedan. If you guys remember, the G80 or the Genesis sedan, the Hyundai Genesis sedan was the first ever Genesis vehicle back in 2017, but it traces its lineage back to 2008 with the Hyundai Genesis. This is now in its third generation. It's built off of an all new architecture, the same architecture as the GV80 SUV. And while in today's video, I'm not able to drive this car yet, you can expect me to drive this car and the GV80 later this fall when this car does go on sale. But in today's video, I'm gonna go over all the ins and outs of the G80 because this is my first time seeing the redesigned one in person. And we're gonna find out just what makes this new SUV or sedan so appealing, especially when you compare it to the Germans. Now, as you can see, the Genesis G80 sedan has quite the presence to it, just like the GV80 SUV, which I happen to have today as well. If you guys haven't seen that video, be sure to click on the link in the description below where you can watch that video and then you can come back to this video. But if you guys are more of a sedan type person, the all new G80 sedan, lo and behold, is just as beautiful in person as I saw it in the photos earlier this year when Genesis first unveiled it. As you can see, Genesis has been working hard to develop their own design language, the Crest grill, the quad beam full LED headlights. This is just one impressive looking sedan. And even though sedans are kind of a dying segment, I'm really happy to see the Koreans, especially Genesis, kind of reinvigorating this segment because people still love sedans, myself included. You can see the Crest grille is bold front and center. It's very elegant. It works very well on the sedan just as well as it did on the SUV. All G80, G80 models will come standard with their quad beam full LED headlights. You have LED daytime running lights and turn signals. No fog lights, uh, but this grill you can see is just massive, but it really works on this vehicle. Now, unlike the GV80, the radar sensor for the adaptive cruise control is much more noticeable on this model where they have it in the actual grill. That's probably because this is not quite as big of a front fascia as the SUV. But this thing just screams Bentley to me whenever I see one of these new design language Genesis vehicles in person. You can expect to see Genesis graft on this styling treatment onto the refreshed G70 later on uh, next year, of course. Now, Genesis did make this new one bigger than the previous generation, which is already one of the bigger vehicles in the segment. This stretches uh, around 196.8 inches long, so it's a couple inches longer than a 5 Series, an E-Class, an A6, and its wheelbase is also longer at 118 inches long. This is actually about an inch or two longer than the GV80 SUV, which this thing really has quite the presence to it. Now, like a lot of other sedans in the segment, you can see they're really going kind of more with a sloping roof design, and this one also has a nice panoramic sunroof with a complete black painted roof. In this Porto red exterior color, I'm really impressed with the exterior or with the color of this thing. I typically don't like these burgundy colors, but if for some reason it really works on this car, so I'm pretty impressed. Now, this is the fully loaded Prestige V6 version. It does come with these 20 inch wheels wrapped in staggered tires. So you have 245s in the front, and then these fatter 305, or 275s in the rear. Um, this one here in particular is uh, an all-wheel drive model, uh, but you can also get this thing with rear-wheel drive if you'd like. This also has the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. Now at the rear, you can see those quad, uh, quad taillights are kind of carried over just like the front. They have the similar design language with the double line that kind of goes through the center of the taillight, uh, but they're actually two separate pieces. The dual exhaust tips also mimic the shape of the Crest grille, uh, and you have LED lighting pretty much everywhere. And this is the Prestige trim, so you do have a power opening and closing trunk, uh, which is nice. And I don't have figures yet for the trunk capacity, but you can see here the trunk itself does have a pass-through feature, and it looks like it folds down. I'd say it probably measures around 15-ish cubic feet. Now underneath that long hood on the new G80, you're gonna find a choice of two different engines, just like the GV80, the SUV version of this car. Um, it offers two engines, a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder is the base engine that makes 300 horsepower. That is the engine that also will be found in the Sonata N line, of course. This one here is the more interesting engine. It's a Genesis specific engine for now. It's a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6 that makes 375 horsepower and 391 pound-feet of torque. That's roughly a 10 horsepower increase, of course, versus last 
last year's 3.3 liter twin turbo V6, the five liter V8 has been discontinued, unfortunately. So if you guys wanted a V8, I'm sorry, it's not on this new generation Genesis model. It all goes out through an eight speed torque converter automatic with your choice of either rear or all wheel drive. I don't have fuel economy figures yet. I don't have performance figures yet. I obviously cannot drive this car just yet. I'll be able to do all that, of course, later in the fall when Genesis has all that stuff ready. Um, curb weight, I'm gonna have to guess the old GV G80 was heavier than most of the competitors. I leave it around 3,800 pounds. This car, I wanna say is lighter, but we really don't know. This is an all new architecture. Genesis says they're using more aluminum in the structure. So the exterior of the new G80 is certainly beautiful in person, but what about the interior? This is my first time also sitting inside this thing. And if you've seen my video on the GV80, this interior is gonna feel very familiar. I love the anthracite beige co combination of my tester with the Porto red burgundy exterior with this light color interior with the two tone. It just screams elegant and classy to me. And the seats are also extremely comfortable. They're basically the same style seats that I showed you guys on the GV80. They have kind of this quilted diamond pleated leather. Uh, they have some nice contrasting piping on it. They're heated and cooled and they offer that massage feature as part of the prestige package. So this is all very, very impressive and very nice. Now also just like the GV80, we have soft closed doors and the door also makes a nice solid thunk. So if I don't slam it, I can kind of just click it. Part of that prestige package gives you the soft closed doors, which is typically uh, found only on the German competitors. The Japanese do not offer something like that in this particular midsize segment. Now, let's take a look at this interior because just like the SUV, you've got this massive 14.5 inch tablet style touchscreen over here, which is just fantastic. I love this. You also have this 12.3 inch digital, fully digital, three dimensional look to the instrument panel. That just looks phenomenal. I love the way this looks. It has the same look with the tactile tachometer that still kind of swings counterclockwise that kind of annoys me. Um, but you can turn off the 3D effect. I love the way this looks. It's also uh, linked to the gauge setting. So if I switch it to sport, you can see the gauges change to look a little bit more aggressive. Uh, go to eco, they also change to look a little bit less aggressive. Custom, there's a comfort mode. Love the way this looks. It also shows you a detailed representation of how it also changes. The dashboard also has beautiful materials. Real leather trim is stitched all over the dash. Real matte finish wood, real leather trim, um, a real or real wood trim, real metal trim, a soft touch material here for the glove box door, which is all nice. You have this beautiful looking screen that shows the climate control with your dual zone climate control, your heated and cooled seats. These seats, by the way, adjust in like 18 different ways and they're just so plush. I love the way these seats feel. I also love the Alcantara that's on the headliner with this big panoramic sunroof. Now on the door panels, you can see same soft touch injection molded plastic, although I'm surprised they didn't put leather stitching over here. It is down here, of course, and it's all down here in soft touch right here with a nice door pocket storage. You have the same metal window controls here with the two person memory seats. The Lexicon stereo also sounds fantastic. I'd put it up against the best from Bang & Olsen and Bowers and & Wilkins, of course. Um, you have all these nice metal buttons here for your lane keep assist, your automatic start stop off button. The steering wheel on the G80 sedan is different from the SUV. It's still a two spoke-ish design with this nice big area. This is a nicer looking steering wheel for me. The horn also sounds pretty good. Uh, you have a power tilt and telescoping wheel, which is nice, gives you a good amount of adjustability. You have all these buttons over here. You have these metal paddle shifters and this nice scrolly wheel here, of course, for the audio system. This is all controlled from this right here. You can push this button. You can kind of change how this looks. It all just looks so impressive. I love what Genesis is doing here with their infotainment system technology. Now, speaking of which, I have shown you guys this interior, this screen here on the GV80. Uh, I'm not gonna go too much into depth with this. This is pretty much the same as the newer Hyundai systems that I've shown you. You can see it has those sounds of nature, a valet mode. You can go into all your settings and change the ambient lighting in here. Going to the CarPlay, you can see it's a massive uh, screen here. It doesn't take up the entire screen. You can, of course, change this if you'd like to show something else, um, which again, you can see it's a touch screen. It's a little bit of a far reach. You can also use the Genesis controller here, which has a little scrolly wheel. You can also push to the left, right with the arrows and then push the center to push enter and whatnot. I like the CarPlay in the sense that, look at this, it takes up around 12 or 75% of the screen. So I'd probably say around 12 inches. Um, the Waze, for example, takes up all this entire screen, which looks fantastic. So very, very impressed with how this looks. I think Genesis pretty much nailed it. Just like the SUV, you have this beautiful rotary glass shifter, which kick it all the way to the left. It goes into reverse to reveal a full 360 camera. This also has that smart park feature. That's part of the prestige package where you can push the button on the fob, which by the way, here's the new fob for this thing. 
just like the GV80, it's a very nice high quality fob. Um, you can use that remote park feature, of course, or you can use the, the full on cameras and just park it yourself. You can see I put it to drive. It shows you a beautiful camera for the front. Push this center button here to go into park. It all looks and feels very nice. You have a wireless phone charger there, two USB ports, although no USB-C uh, ports, which is surprising to me. You have a nice cup holder area over here. You have your drive mode selector over here, which is good. Um, Really most of the technology I expect to find, I'm finding it in here, you have this big center console. Although I am noticing this card does not offer wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I imagine Genesis may add that in the future, but for now you do have to actually plug in your phone, which some of you may not like that about this car. So that's something to keep in mind. Open up the glove pop right here and you can see it's an average size, it's damped, it's lined with felt. And then when I open this up, you can see the panoramic sunroof isn't the entire glass area, but it is very darkly tinted and it does let in some nice light. And if you'd like, you can also move this seat forward and back from this side so you don't have to reach over to the side. So overall, definitely one of the best cabins in the industry. Genesis is really packing in the technology and the luxury here. Uh, and you really don't feel like you're missing anything, uh, especially even when you look at some, a lot of the German competitors. So I think Genesis really hit it, nailed it, and they hit it out of the park. Now the back seat of the new G80, this is a mid-size sedan, and I don't have official numbers just yet. I'd say it probably looks around the 37 uh, inches of legroom uh, category. You can see it does offer a very good amount of space. There is a large hump there that obviously takes up um, floor space for the middle passenger, but I love this two-tone beige interior. Uh, getting inside, you can see a surprising amount of legroom, actually. Very good foot space, um, very nice you know, carpet in this vehicle as well. When I shut the door, you can see it has a nice solid thunk and it also has a soft close feature. You've got these manual sunshades, of course, which is very nice. Um, although the G80 offered, the GV80 offered the power ones. You have real leather stitching over here, the metal speakers and whatnot. So this is just a really nice place to spend time. You can see dual zone climate control. But what I am noticing here, at least, here we go. When I fold this down, you can see there's a nice little storage area with a USB port or a nice armrest area. There's your three level heated seats. Um, you can also open and close the shade back here from this or use your cup holders. But unlike the SUV, which offered cooled seats in the second row, this does not offer cooled seats back here, which I guess doesn't surprise me in this segment. That is more of a rare feature to find. And you also have these two uh, map pockets as well. So just like the GV80 SUV, the all new 2021 G80 has a lot of the new design language cues that we've seen on Genesis, and you should be seeing the company apply this to the rest of their lineup, especially when this car and the SUV goes on sale in the fall of 2020, so in just a couple months. Now, speaking of which, even though I can't drive this vehicle just yet, stay tuned for my full driving impressions video, which I'll post uh, later this year. I have to say, just like the SUV, I'm super impressed with the interior, the design, all the features that Genesis throws into this car. It's got a very big back seat, a lot of space on the inside, and the price of this car. This car starts at $47,700. Now, obviously, that's more expensive than the old one, but compared to the A6, the BMW 5 Series, and the Mercedes-Benz E-Class, this thing represents probably a $7,000 discount. It's actually even cheaper than the Lexus GS at $51,000 for the Lexus. This is cheaper than that, and that Lexus is about to be discontinued. Now, obviously, this particular one here with the V6, with the Prestige package, stickers for just over $69,000, so it's a lot more money, but with all the stuff this car throws in, you're gonna be spending probably $80,000 to $90,000 for the Mercedes, the BMW, the Audi will probably cost you another $5,000 more than this car. So it represents a strong value. And remember, Genesis throws in an excellent warranty, a 10-year warranty, and that three-year concierge service where you don't have to actually go to the dealership. They'll come to you whenever this car needs service. But with all that said, I hope you guys have enjoyed my full overview on this 2021 Genesis G80 sedan. If you're also looking to see the latest cars I'm testing, be sure to follow me on Instagram at redline underscore reviews. Like us on Facebook. And as always, guys, please keep subscribing to the Redline Reviews YouTube channel for all the latest reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.